Good evening. The regular meeting of the Central Berkshire Regional School District on September 26, 2019, will now come to order at 7 p.m. This meeting is being audio and videotaped. If anyone in the audience is doing so, kindly let us know. If not, all who are able, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Central Berkshire Regional School Committee appoints Assistant Superintendent Falkowski Temporary District Secretary for the school meeting of September 26, 2019. Second. Second. Okay. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? Motion carries. Okay. <laughs> now you can do that. <laughs> Mr. DeFazio. Here. Ms. DiTomaso. Here. Mr. Emerson. Here. Mr. Farley. Here. Mr. Hinckley. Here. Mrs. Latizori. Here. Mr. Peters. Here. Mrs. Tucker. Here. Mr. Wagner. Here. Dr. Crafries. Here. Municipal Rep. Mr. Bartels. Here. And our CBA Rep. Mike Ho. Here. And our student rep is also here. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, thank you. So I'm going to validate this agenda. And um, are there any responses from the audience? Okay, student affairs, you're up first. Okay. Welcome. Thank you. Uh, good evening. So currently in our school year, we have had our fourth freshman orientation. Tours were given to the students, and they also got to tour a extracurricular fair to view all of the wonderful extracurriculars we offer. Uh, we also had our first Wakona Field Day, which was organized by Tribe. Homerooms competed against each other, doing various outdoor activities. Uh, the drama department had their auditions for the fall play, Arsenic and Old Lace. Fourteen students from each grade made it in. Uh, freshman Welcome was hosted by the senior class. Freshmen and seniors did a scavenger hunt, followed by the annual Pick a Shoe Dance. Uh, last Friday, Green Umbrella hosted a field trip to Boston for the rally against climate change. The junior class is currently raising money to help Cameron and the Forward family. And all of our sports teams have been very victorious in all of their meetings and games, and we are very happy to say so. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, so I think that's everyone. Yes. We're up to the secretary's report, and I just want to make a mention of a mistake that um, Mrs. Lavazori was present, and you have her in present and absent. Okay. She was present. She was present. present. <laughs> <laughs> She's amazing that way. <laughs> it is. Hold it off enough. <laughs> so can I have a motion to accept the minutes with that correction, please? So moved. Okay. Um, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Financial reports. Moving right along. The warrants. The warrants. Move to approve warrant APW 20 5, dated August 29, 2019, previously signed, for accounts payable in the amount of $1,646,731.50. Second. We have a motion and a second for warrant APW 20-5. Do we have any discussion? Okay, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? Abstain. Motion carries. Thank you. Move to approve warrant number PR 20-5 dated September 5, 2019, previously signed 
for payroll in the amount of $616,746.02. Second. Do you have a motion and a second? Okay. Um, any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstain? Okay, motion carries. Move warrant number PR 20-5D, dated September 5, 2019, previously signed, accounts payable from agency accounts in the amount of $113,306.64. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? Aye. Motion carries. Warrant number AP 20-5 dated September 6, 2019, previously signed in the amount of, let's see, operating expense, 189,6032. No. The, no, no, the total and 32 cents. Second. We have a motion and a second for warrant AP 20-5. Any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? Aye. Motion carries. Okay, move to approve warrant PR 20-6, dated September 19, 2019, previously signed payroll in the amount of $644,000 three hundred and seventy six dollars and thirty cents. Second. We have a motion and a second for warrant PR 20-6. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain. Abstain. Okay. Motion Move carries. to approve warrant PR 20-6D. Dated September 19, 2019. Previously signed. Accounts payable from agency accounts in the amount of $245,096.47. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Uh, abstain? Abstain. Okay, thank you. Move to approve warrant number AP 20-6, dated September 20th, 2019, previously signed. Accounts payable in the amount of $179,865.95. Second. Now we have a motion and a second to approve EP 20-6. Any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? <coughs> Abstain? Abstain. Thank you. Move to approve warrant AP 20-7, dated September 27th, 2019. Accounts payable in the amount of $665,351.55. Second. We have a motion and a second for warrant number AP 20-7. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? Motion carries. Move to approve warrant number APW 20-6. Dated August 29th, 2019, previously signed in the amount of $433,316.09. Second. We have a motion and a second to approve warrant APW 20-6. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstain? Aye. Motion carries. Thank you. We also have some donations. Yes. Acceptance of a donation from Coca-Cola Rewards Program. Be it resolved that Central Berkshire Regional School Committee accept the donation of $25 to Beckett Washington Elementary School from Coca-Cola Rewards as recommended by the District Treasurer. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion about the donation? Is that the one where you have three numbers? Mary Kay, did you have to put in numbers? 
okay. enter a lot of numbers and get the rewards. Yeah. Yeah. We think. We just got to check. A lot of credit. <laughs> we just got to check. We weren't sure how we got it. Okay. okay. <laughs> Congratulations. So all those in favor of accepting that donation? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Abstain? Motion carries. Acceptance of a donation from Charlie Bradshaw. Be it resolved that Central Berkshire Regional School Committee accept the donation of a refrigerator to the Wakona staff by Wakona teacher Charlie Bradshaw. Second. We have a motion and a second to accept the donation from Charlie Bradshaw. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. And opposed? Yeah. <laughs> opposed? Abstain. Thank you very much. Absolutely. We've accepted that. Okay. Next, we go to communications and the report of the chair. And we have a vacancy still in the town of Washington. And in terms of the town of Hinsdale, somebody will has accepted that position, and she will be sworn in next time, we believe. Um, Can I ask a question about the the uh, town of Washington yes. vacancy? What's the term of that view? In it was. I think it was. I think it's twenty-two. I think it's twenty-two. I think, I think it already went to no nobody for twenty, and now it's going to go to twenty-two. So if they come in, they are on until twenty-two. Do you know somebody? I, yes, I did get a name of somebody. Oh, good. Yeah, so. hmm. Okay. So I have to connect that with them. I, I wanted to get that. They wanted that answer. They didn't know if they were going to if they went now or they had to run before this number. Well, I don't think it is. Yeah, I thought it was. Um, so. You just keep going. Um, to, no, it's 20. Oh. So it's next year. Next year. They're going to run. Well, that's okay. Yeah. She, she was concerned about having to run. I guess not. Oh, no, no. There's nothing to do. Okay. Okay. So, so next, yes. It'll be next November. Right. Okay. okay. All right. Thanks. That's it. We also have an opening in um, Beckett. Just you all got the email that Mr. Les has moved and has resigned from the committee. Um, I do believe I know somebody who's interested, so I'll bring that name forward too. And um, sadly, I heard from Mr. Hackmeyer also, and he's not going to be able to come back because of his busy schedule. So we're losing a Dalton person, so we can get some Dalton people to see if they know anybody that might be interested. And that information was shared with the this week. Wonderful, thank you. So is he, is, is, is my calling now? He's Yes, sir. Okay. Um, I also wanted to talk about the joint conference that's coming up and uh, the one at the Cape. And um, I'm going, and Rob Fazio was going to go, but he, the schedule won't allow him to go. So we have an opening for another person to to go. And so uh, we've already paid, right, the entrance fee for that, the registration fee. So if you're interested, think about it. It's November 6, 7, and 8. And it's uh, in Hyannis at the Resort and Conference Center. Rob, you didn't have a room reserved, did you? No. Yeah. Um, just let us know because it's coming up quickly. May I also add, I don't know if you're going to mention this, but um, everybody should have gotten their yeah, booklet. Mm -hmm. And so we should probably uh, talk about it at the next meeting. Right, so the resolution is going to be next meeting. Absolutely. Thank I you. I will jump in. Some of these things in here. Thank you. 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 Some of the workshops. Okay. Some of the workshops revolve around okay. some so of the subjects that. we've discussed, and I think you would gain from it. Okay, the next one is the approval to change the date of October 24th school committee meeting. We need to change it to the 17th, and um, because of bond. Yes, Melissa's going to tell us about it because of James Bond. <laughs> <laughs> so we've been working with Unibank and our district treasurer um, to put through the sale of the bond. That is due to happen on October 16th. And on October 17th, we will bring the terms of the bond to the school committee so that you can vote on the total price of the bond, the 
principal amount and the premium, the accrued interest, and the maturity date of the bonds. So it's your vote to approve the award of the bond to the um, winning bidder. So that needs to occur on October 17th so that we can prepare it and have it ready to go and funds available at the end of the month. We're looking at probably the first week in November, but the 17th is the latest we could do that to have it in with the district by that time. Okay, so, yeah. Be resolved the Central Berkshire Regional School Committee approved the change to the following meeting date. October 24, 2019 to October 17, 2019 at Beckett Washington Elementary School. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Yes. I just want to say that both um, Dick Jetty, our treasurer, and Lori Lombard, they were here previously to get some guidance from you about yeah. how to pose the bond for sale. Um, they will come and explain and talk about the terms. Um, at that date. Do we know when we're going to come out of the uh, Yes, we have, um, we are all traveling to Boston on October 2nd. Okay. And we have a meeting with the Municipal Oversight Board that morning. Um, so we should hear something very shortly after that date. Okay. We're meeting at 11 o'clock. Right. That's exactly. where we'll be voting on one bond. It won't be picking from no. A, B, or C. You'll be voting on one bond. Okay, so we have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Yes. Any further discussion? If not, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Staying? Okay, we have a change in the date. Thank you. Now we have subcommittee meetings. So I'm going to ask. Uh, curriculum, everybody to share as we go along. I think this was a very <coughs> full agenda, but we started off talking about two field trips, and the first one was for students to go to Costa Rica, and that's not going to happen in April of 2021, but they want to be approved now so that they can begin the fundraising process, because it's a very costly experience and trip, but um, very worthwhile. We've Funded this, we've approved this in the past, and we've had, I think it was Todd who said that his, yes. son, your yes. daughter went yes. and daughter loved went. it. Yeah, and we all are volunteering to be the chaperones because we want to go to Costa Rica. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, could I have a motion to accept that? Can I have a motion for that? We have resolved the Central Berkshire Regional School Committee approved the overnight field trip for Macona students to Costa Rica. Second. They, we dated April 15, 26, 2021, as recommended by curriculum. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Does anybody have any questions about it? We talked about, because of the high cost, we talked about things like providing scholarships for some kids who might not be able to otherwise attend. So we're looking into that because we'd really like to help out as best we can. Um, we want to make it accessible to everybody. So. Um, there was also, um, possible grant opportunities. For right. right. So do I have, I have a motion yeah. to second. Any other discussion about it? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? Motion carries. Thank you. We also talked about the Wakona students to Montreal and Quebec, and that was part of, um, that was for February 14th through the 17th, 2020. So that's coming up shortly. They will miss one day of school and we'll need to get a sub for one day only because it uh, piggybacks with the weekend and then the school vacation in February. Um, it's not as costly because it's a shorter amount of time and closer location. Yeah, it's $850. So again, they want to start their fundraising now. So, yes, please. Be resolved that Central Berkshire Regional School Committee Approve an overnight field trip for Wakona students to Montreal and Quebec, Canada, February 14th through the 17th, 2020, as recommended by the Curriculum Subcommittee. Second. Okay. Well, we have a motion and a second. Is there any discussion about that? We've done this one, we've approved this one before also, and it's gotten great reviews, and um, 
This is to also enhance the French. Right. They don't actually use French. More, more about the culture. I would say also that uh, I looked at it in, uh, I don't know if any of you have been to Quebec City in the Winter Carnival, but it is really fun. Cool. Yes. So, <laughs> yes. I was glad to see that they were going to be there for Winter Carnival. Yes. Well, they're going to dress warm, though. Yeah, very chilly. Okay, so we have a motion and a second, and um, we've had our discussion. Any other questions about it? If not, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? Thank you. Motion carries. Okay, we also, on our agenda tonight, is pretty full. We talked about, uh, we continued with our special education discussion that we had last in August. And, um, we learned more about uh, responses to the questions that we have posed, and we do have quite a few of these, so I'm going to pass them around. There are answers to the questions that we posed, and um, so, for example, you'll see what options are available for those students that don't qualify once they've been tested. Like, we don't just leave them hanging and say, well, too bad you didn't make it, um, so we're not going to support you. And the kinds of supports that they have in place are 504 plans, um, which is a federal initiative to make sure that everybody can access the curriculum. Uh, classroom supports with Title I tutor, where you can read all the things that are available. And we're hoping that with the um, additions of some of the staffing that we approved here last year, and for which Leslie said she was very grateful, and so are the teachers and the principals, that we have more people who can meet the needs of kids. So we're hoping that that's going to continue to work. Um, I asked about supports for parents because uh, oftentimes this whole social education thing is a scary process. And, you know, I've sat on both sides. I've sat on the side of a special educator and I have been the parent. And it's very different. You might have a lot of knowledge, but when you're that parent, it's a very uh, humbling experience to hear about your child. So um, the parents do have opportunities for being supported through the Special Ed Parent Advisory Council. And they listed some other things that they have too. We talked about the length of the process because it does take a very long time and 45 school days seem like an eternity when you want your child to get the services they need. But everything is in compliance with what the state regulations are. So once the parent submits a request and signs it, they have the school has 30 school days to complete the testing. And then the parent has time, and then there's 45 minute, uh, 45 days for the um, team to actually put into place the recommendations. So it is a lengthy process. Um, the role of students in transition planning, when, when children become uh, at the age of 14, they're involved in their transition planning. So they talk about what their needs are gonna be for the future and how the school can meet their needs. Some students can't be educated in Central Berkshire and they have to go out of district. So we talked about those children, the numbers, and where they are and how we can bring them back. We talked about the role of paras in the classroom. And we talked about referral numbers. And essentially, um, what I learned was our referral numbers are 15.4% and they're 21% statewide. So we're under that, that level. Um, we do reevaluations every three years because that's mandated. And um, I think that's basically it. Was there anything else you wanted to talk about that I left out of special education? Um, we also talked about uh, the students that are um, have out of district placements, and that two of the students came into the district, moved into the district. Right. Sometimes it's hard to uh, budget for those things because this past year it just happens that they move in and they have a high price tag and we have to meet their needs. So we also talked about something really exciting and um, Leslie shared with us that the embargo on the MCAS um, report came out, was lifted so that we could see um, some information and wow, we were really impressed with the results. And um, overall, the district really improved. And special, special kudos goes to Mexicus for their really great um, improvement. They went from an 8% last year to a 77% this year. We appreciate the efforts of 
all of the team. And please let them know that we say so from our curriculum subcommittee. We're very pleased. Again, Craneville went up, Kittredge went up, back at Washington went up, um, you know, Wakona's made progress, so every school showed some good signs, and yes, there are still targeted areas for improvement. There always will be, because we're dealing with kids, and um, <coughs> so there's gonna be areas where we need to improve, but we're on the right track, and so you're using our supports really well, and we thank you. Anybody wanna add anything to that? Um, one thing we did notice is the scores for this past year that uh, had passed for both Mexico and the elementary schools are within the same percentage range. So it really, we saw that everything seems to be very well aligned and all the curriculums that have been put in place and all of the supports seem to really be um, creating equity amongst the schools. Um, and then Wakona, I mean, they, it's a different te uh, testing base. So we've made progress, um, but it just seems to, it's just different. So it's not comparable. Right. And the state always seems to do that to us. They change it up so that we can't compare apples to apples. But that happens all the time. Anyway, we're very, very pleased. And uh, we also discussed that our next meeting will be on October 17th at 6 o'clock. And we'll talk about science. And we'll have a math program, up, math textbook update. So that will be the topic. And that will be back in Washington. Yes, preceding them. Community. Any questions? Okay, so that was curriculum, and then we go on to finance. Okay, so the finance subcommittee met on Wednesday, September 18th. Um, we talked about the school year 1920 preliminary enrollments, and we felt that that was an important thing to uh, always have available so that we can compare year to year. Uh, we also discussed the budget guidelines and instructions, and um, I'm just looking. Yes, we will be making a motion on that. Um, we also talked about the fiscal year 2021 budget cycle. Um, the next topic we talked about was the, the regional agreement, and this was brought forward because um, at a prior school committee meeting, we had approved a motion to make a change to the regional agreement. Um, and at our finance subcommittee meeting, um, Mr. Blockettel said that he would contact um, the district's attorney for the, some consultation on changes to the regional agreement, which I'll talk about when I report for the personnel subcommittee because he did that right before that, uh, before that meeting. Um, we also talked about uh, the Town of Cummington update, and uh, basically there had been a, a meeting scheduled with the select board from Cummington on September 11th with four members of the school committee but that was canceled by the chair of the Cummington Select Board uh, because they have decided to engage an attorney um, to consult on the withdrawal. Um, and in the subcommittee, we talked about that at this point, um, it would be in the best interest of Cummington to have a discussion with the other towns about what they would like to achieve by withdrawing. Um, when we, uh, if I can just go back to the preliminary enrollment, there was a comment, um, a concern about um, the enrollments in the second grade at Craneville, but that was addressed by the fact that there is a second certified teacher for literacy. Um, our next meeting will be October 8th at 6.45 at Craneville, and we'll be talking about first quarter transfer. Section on capital, uh, capital 
purchases. And Russ thinks he's, that he can, as long as all the towns agree with it. He doesn't think Jesse will push back on that. So, but we, we all agree that we should maybe take some of the low-hanging fruit that's there that won't be controversial and change it. Several of the things at time and also might help it pass the change to the capital funding might help pass it then to seven towns. So we're going to, I don't think it's officially yet, but we're trying to put together maybe an ad hoc committee with representation from a couple of towns, Dalton being one and Hinsdale being the other. And uh, I did get uh, I did get Vivian Mason to agree to be on that committee when we started talking about that. So uh, just a way to at least start drafting the wording for the capital funding and look at some of the other submissions. Okay. Um, yes. <laughs> okay. Any questions? I would just like to add that um, when the ad hoc committee is formed, it might be a good idea to at least approach the other towns that had voted no to offer them an opportunity to at least have some input into whatever the changes are going to be. Yeah. It's probably a good idea. Yeah. I think you do want to, um, it's hard to get it too big, but mm. I, I don't. I'm just worried, probably good to you know, just and you know, reaching out to them, I think it's a it's a real good idea. Just, you know, whether or not they choose to participate. Okay, and we didn't talk about the budget track and I'm sorry. Oh yes, yeah, to read my <laughs> Okay. Um, so we have a motion to make. Um, approval of the fiscal twenty twenty one budget guidelines and instructions, be it resolved that the Central Berkshire Regional School Committee approve the fiscal year 2021 budget guidelines and instructions as recommended by the finance subcommittee. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstain? Motion carries, thank you. Okay, I think we're up to policy now. Are you getting a report or No. Um, I don't think we've, we've not had it. Right. Okay. And I don't think we're scheduled to meet at this point. You don't have a leader. Yes, we want to step up. <laughs> okay. Um, um, but I, I will send out the evaluation because I don't think there was any changes to that. The one we used last year, the Google oh, Doc. Because it was just updated. Right, it was just updated. Right, yeah. So. Okay, but so that's going to go out. Well. Okay. And so it'll be due. On October 11th, that's soon. I can send that tomorrow. Okay. All right, thank you. So, yeah, if anybody wants to step up to po on policy, please let me know. Personnel, Bonnie's going to be reporting again. Again? Yeah, thank you. Okay, so um, we met on the 19th at 4 30, and um, we will not need to go into executive session because I'm just going to give a very general report. Um, this was our first meeting with the Paris. Um, we agreed to ground rules, uh, one of which would then be that the negotiation sessions would be closed and be open uh, to the public. Each side submitted their initial statements for consideration, uh, which we agreed we would go back and review. Our next meeting will be October 3rd at 4.30 at Craneville, and we have additional meetings scheduled on the 8th, the 17th, and the 22nd um, at 4.15 at Green. Thank you. Thank you. So there's no need to go into an executive session. Okay. Safety and wellness. No, we also have not met. <laughs> okay. okay. Um, and no, no meeting on the schedule. Right. Okay, thank you. Okay, so we're up to the Wakona Building Project. Thank you. Mr. Peters, get it away. Well, it's, uh, we had a uh, meeting with, uh, in Boston with, at, at the Architects, uh, two weeks ago now, and that was where uh, MSBA was there with the Architects and the OPM and the construction company, and they went through, the main purpose of the meeting was to review the design as it stands now in comparison to, at the end of the feasibility study, 
that they approved the report on. And essentially, MSPA looks at the, the changes that have been made and they make sure they are either agree with them or don't agree with them. And, and they essentially had no uh, issues with anything that was changed. The main changes, if you remember, is we took out that uh, circular facade piece and changed the entrance way. And the architects that added square footage to the aisles, which went beyond the uh, approval that MSP set for the site of the school. So they took away some other areas and moved some walls around to equal it out. So that's why MSPA really had no concerns with it. They, they, don't, they didn't have issues with us taking away a cosmetic wall. Nice uh, so, so that that was good. Everything's going forward. No issues. Um, the next meeting is in December when they approve the next level of the, of the construction drawings, and some of the early packages are rolling on. Um, we still haven't had the utilities moved because there were some issues with transformers and yeah. Okay. I'll let you go. So that is scheduled for October 5th. Um, and there can't be anybody on the site for safety reasons, so we've arranged all of that. And Eversource and our OPM will be on site from 6 a.m. until as long as it takes to replace the, the current transformer with a larger transformer that can handle the construction and the needs of the building. So that's occurring on October 5th. The other thing is, just to, as an FYI, um, when we went to the architects, um, I asked for a uh, virtual tour of the building because I knew that it existed. <laughs> so I actually, Tom Callahan and myself got to use the uh, VR system down there and take a walk through the school. Oh and uh, it was pretty interesting. I actually went underneath the bleachers, checked out the hardware the bleachers. And <laughs> <laughs> you can open doors and go into all the rooms, and it was, uh, it was pretty, uh, pretty amazing. Technology is amazing, but the school looks beautiful inside now, all around. <laughs> <Can't wait. laughs> May I just add? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm go first. I just wanted to add that we have pre construction update meetings every two weeks. So we've been meeting with DRA, Skanska, Bar and Bar, who is our uh, construction manager, every two weeks to go over what we're working on, what we can tweak, what the next steps are, and it's about an hour, hour and a half meeting every two weeks. The next one is October 3rd, which is a Thursday, but we typically meet every other Wednesday. Thank you. I just wanted to share with the, the group that there was um, a, a road show that went to all five schools during um, the open house. Um, and DRA provided to us um, these poster boards. There were five poster boards showing the new uh, rendition of the school. Um, the response from parents and the community that went to the open houses was overwhelmingly positive. Um, I would like to share that there was one little girl at Kittredge but I would like to make our shining star our example of what a student should be. She wasn't yet a student at the school, her, her sibling was, but she came with a blue cape with stars and she was just a vision. She had such stature and for a little girl, I, I was just really impressed with her and she was one of the people that was very happy about the new school because it matched her outfit. <laughs> which I thought was wonderful. That's important. Yes. Um, but overwhelmingly, um, we really wanted to acknowledge the work that went forward with DRA because those posters really spoke to the people who came to the open houses. The renderings, the drawings were great, but this was you know, a really good picture of what things would look like. People were looking at the diagrams. They were, you know, really interested in what was going to happen. So I, we really got the sense that people are really coming on board with the new school. So I, well, thank you for going to all of those. Thank you. It was a pleasure. Okay, thanks. And uh, we're going to take those boards, by the way. And I don't think they're up yet, but they're going to be on view in the CRA for a, maybe a week or two. And then maybe move them to Wakona and put them in the lobby for a week or two, just ship them around to the 
different locations, maybe the senior center for a week or two. Mm -hmm. So because it, it is interesting to see what's going on, you know, get more people, uh, you know, it's a positive thing when they start looking at it and see that. It's a big silent show. Okay. Any questions? Okay, superintendent's reports and recommendations. <laughs> it's attached. <laughs> if you want me to go through it, I can. I, do I have to? No. So, all the information is here. Does anybody have a question or concern? Then, uh, personnel, any personnel changes? We do have one recommendation. We do have one, yeah. oh, right, right. budget calendar. Okay, okay. okay. So the, the, we're bringing forth the budget calendar again this year. It's similar to the calendar that we brought forth over the last few years, and it breaks down each um, month of the budget season and what we should be focusing on during that month's time. and um, So this is very similar to last year's. We have all of the town meetings occurring again in May. There may be a change, but that's what we know now, so we're leaving it them all in May. Um, but it takes us through each of our steps and the important votes that we have to take within the appropriate amount of time for our towns to be able to vote for the budget during their town meetings. Yes. Would you? Oh, sure. Be a resolve that Central Berkshire Regional School Committee accept the fiscal year 20 budget calendar as recommended by the superintendent. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion about that? If I, I'm sorry, I just want to make sure that everyone is aware that um, on March 12th, 2020, um, is a very, very important vote. I won't be here, but I will call in as long as we have a quorum. Yeah. Um, but this is the, the vote when we have to have, I believe it's two thirds of the school committee to approve. So it's very important that people are here. The other important meeting is the October 17th meeting that we need. Yeah. Yes. We, we need a quorum mm -hmm. for the finance, I mean, for the school committee meeting on that day so that we can have, I believe it's a majority vote, mm -hmm. but I'll double check that. Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay, is there any old business? Oh, yes, oh we vote, okay, sorry. Okay, all those in favor? Aye. <laughs> Opposed? Abstain, motion carries, thank you, wow. Okay, so old business? Okay, I just, I, I know I said thank you to all the administrators for their work in bringing up the test scores and helping the students, but I want you to thank Leslie also because she, yeah. you know, without her we are lost and she pulls it all together. <laughs> Always available and accessible, and I just think she's doing an incredible job. So thank you. Leslie. Okay, new business. Remarks to the good of the committee. Um, just to say, this Saturday is the annual Buddy Walk here at Craigville. Um, it's a great event to support our students in the community with Down syndrome and other special needs. So please, everybody, uh, registration starts at 10. The walk uh, will start at 11. Please come out. Uh, it's supposed to be a beautiful day. We take a lovely walk down Main Street. Uh, a lot of the uh, we get a lot of great community support. So uh, please come on uh, out and support. Everybody here. 10 o'clock here in Greenville. Yes. Okay. And there's a lot of activities afterward. It's really grown over the past the last few years. They do have lunch. Ozzy's has their food truck um, out back too. Cool. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Can I have a motion to adjourn? Yes. So moved. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Thank you. Thank you.